that more from the tax returns to ensure that the UK internal market is free of claims, a seamless donation, and as well, it will protect the Queen's process and is not the same having uh, properly disputed uh, by the European Commission. And it's not the same as well, but what's going to be crucial here is what this dispute over interpretations of the past of the withdrawal agreement, the divorce settlement, what impact that has on the trade talks going on in parallel this afternoon. The European Commission statement basically says it puts those talks at risk. And, you know, just take a step back. This is a pretty remarkable position uh, that uh, is emerging this afternoon because we are now just a few months away from the end of the transition period. When the UK, yes, it's left the EU already, but it's following its rules and regulations that end on December the 31st. That is the deadline to have a trade deal in place. And just a few months before that deadline, the EU is threatening the UK with legal action. Okay, Jessica, thank you. Jessica Parker there in Westminster. Well, Jessica mentioned there conservative MPs who are unhappy with what's going on. You couldn't ask longer than that from Roger Dale, who's conservative MP for North Thanet. Um, so, Roger, what do you make of uh, what, what's been going on this afternoon? I think it's almost tragic. Uh, the United Kingdom has always had a proud and honourable reputation for sticking by its word, sticking by its treaties, and doing the right thing. And for me, this comes down very simply, it's not to the European Union, it's a matter of principle. We enter into a fully agreed treaty, new signing, that we honour it. And what we are in the process of doing, I think, is seeking to legislate to break one of those agreements. And that was an agreement, of course, that was entered into by the Prime Minister, Mr. Johnson, and something that he, at the time, proudly acclaimed as being a huge success. But it wasn't a success that it was claimed. He shouldn't have signed it in the first place, and we shouldn't have passed it through Parliament in the first place. And if he wants to change it, then there's a way of doing it. That has to be done with the agreement of the other party, the treaty. Well, if anything, the government appears to be digging in its heels in response to the European Commission saying that what they're doing is, uh, is potentially illegal and uh, threatening legal action against them. I don't know if you'd like to hear the response from the government. Uh, it, it says that Parliament is so the sovereign of a matter of domestic law and can pass legislation which is in breach of the UK's treaty obligations. It does not sound like they're backing down. I think that is wrong. I'm not a lawyer, but when somebody like Michael Howard, Lord Howard, a former Home Secretary, former leader of the Conservative Party, very eminent GP, says that it's wrong, I think I believe Michael rather than Mr. Johnson. And I think I believe Michael rather than anybody else in the United States as well. And when somebody, a former Prime Minister, like John Major, comes forward and criticizes this, you need to remember that John Major, thanks to the forgotten, was the original architect of the Belfast Group. He negotiated with John Hume and David Trimble and set the whole war rolling. John was not the sort of person who was going to seek damage to the situation in Northern Ireland. Where did you get that from? <laughs> you got more to your name all through your dreams when I came to your room. And I hope she's not the girl that says, Oh, we're going to have a junction. I hope so. Good day, Echo. <laughs> Thanks for the chocolate. Good morning. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, boss. Oh, good job. So why don't you hop into the car and we drop you up somewhere near the office? Uh, that won't be necessary. I already made arrangements for someone else to pick me up. 
Someone had to know. Why don't you say some things that better left unsaid? And secrets from your bosses. Let's see your work. Did you say that now? Everybody don't cool down now, B. Babe, do you realize I've been waiting for you for more than 30 minutes? It's late, let's go. I say your body don't cool down now. <sighs> See, they don't they call me. What are you talking about? When Peking drop the thing, when we can no one sleep, sleep go catch up. Could you just stop talking in parables and riddles and explain? What is it? I hope you get man now. It must have been a very glorious night. You even forgot to call me your bestie. <laughs> Are you silly? Come on! You don't want to download all the juicy details for me, Abby? Tell me. Is he as good as he looks? Is he as good in the sack? Hmm? Excuse me? I thought you were not interested in anything that has to do with that gift, man. Me? I didn't say nothing like that. All I said is that I will not condescend to doing it with Bloody hitman. Ah, oh, bloody. Can you bloody get into the car and let's bloody get out of here? Okay. <laughs> so, what happened now? What do you mean what happened? Nothing happened. Really? So he didn't come to see you all weekend? Hmm. The two of you couldn't keep your hands off each other. The signs were all over the place. In fact, I thought that as soon as I stepped out of the car, mm -hmm. you both would yeah, grab each other. <laughs> And make love in traffic. Hey, <laughs> shut up, you have no shame. <laughs> we are adults and we have lots of respect for ourselves. Yeah. No, right. nothing like that happened. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. and I'm the Queen of England. Listen, that young man is from the ghetto. I thought he was going to show me his true colors and deal with you so bad that he would have four legs in the morning. Hey, please don't let me start imagining things. <laughs> I mean, the place <laughs> was. Hey! I hope we didn't keep you waiting for so long. I've just been here a few minutes. I was just about to call you to see if you had passed anyone. Oh. Yeah. It was this loony that kept me waiting. He's not charging. Good morning. Good morning, then. Okay. Okay, plant some there, then. It was quiet. Plot, plot, plot it back there. Yeah. I'm going to skip. Plot this one back there. I don't know. Let's skip, sir. You're confusing me putting it together with my... This is actually a good what is this? Chocolate. She says I was muttering your name in my sleep last night. Thank you. This is so sweet. Thank you. Well, what's her name? Don't believe your way. 
Hello? So you were sitting in that car comfortably, waiting for me to come and open the gate for you. Yeah? Oh, come on, man. You know I'm not disrespectful like that. Huh? I just wanted her to drive right through the gate. If I'd open the door, she'd have smashed that door on the gate. That's all. I wanted her to drive through. Period. Avoid accidents. That's all. Huh? Alright. Mm -hmm. Let me go and change, okay? You got that here yet? Do you drink water, David? Alright. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I do. Um, I'll let her put that okay. Yes, come, but um, yes, yeah, go out. That man will retire. I am sure by the time he's 80, he will still be the first person to go to work every month. Let me go change. There he goes. I'm not getting the gate for him. What can I get for him? That's the money jack. Are you going to 